Hey guys, we just bought this unit for $1,400, so let's go check out the auction. 500. 500, 600, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, 700, Take a picture of the label, boxes of junk, contents tamper, 1986. There you go, it's the year I was born. Oh, that was boxes of junk. <laughs> Tampered in 1986, so maybe what was junk then is good now. Eh, we'll see. So let's get right into it. Let's start unpacking. So guys, so what we have, we have these boxes right here, plus we probably have another 15 boxes back there, a whole bunch of art frames. And we're just gonna start packing away. Oh here, here's the funny story as we're unpacking this, if you saw the videos too. We paid, I think, fourteen hundred for this unit, but then every the box said tampered and the outside wood piece said junk on it. Hey, here's so where we're talking about it. All said tampered, but we didn't realize so after we paid fourteen hundred dollars for the unit. Isn't that terrible? So um, the, the manager said that just means that maybe at one time the owner came back, or the owner was packaging, and they're just not responsible. Because right here's an old copper tray. Oh, is that what that meant? Oh, okay, I thought. Meant I've never tampered. seen this before. I have no idea, but I'm thinking at least fifteen bucks because it's copper. Oh, Casey. Let's what? do this box first. I think we'll have to go box by box in these. This is, here, is that like 50, 60? This is, looks like 70 stuff. 70? But it's not junk. I mean, this is all antique stuff here. Let's yeah. pile it up. We'll probably just unpack this stuff and then we have to repack it all. Ah, just a jar. That's junk. Oh, look at this. That's nice. I, like that. I know you would like that. Ooh, old baseball glove for crane co uh, cowhide hand formed pocket you know what guys this actually might turn into two videos seals the shoes the glass that's kind of eh. i have such little hands it's perfect for my glass <laughs> this is just class we're not going to pull everything out unless it looks interesting look at this this is pewter wear, isn't it this is really heavy Hard Rod Argen Argentina. So it says HS, I think. HS or SH. Is that a brand or is that their. It could be the initial back then. Oh, look at this tiki mug. Oh, it's great. In our store, people would always ask for tiki mugs or anything tiki related. So, well, the good news is we're not looking at flat out junk color boxes set. This is brass, obviously smoked. Remington shaver or oh, knife cover. This is junk. See, like, oh, look, this is really old. Bluffton slaw color. Look at that. That's probably 1940s. I don't know if it really has any value. Oops. Ooh, it's, just, the value. it's just a piece of class. Well, the cool thing is that it's old, the stuff in here. There's gonna be buttons, Nana. Nana likes buttons. Guys, buttons. Look up button slots on eBay. If you get the right ones, they're crazy amounts of money. You're as cute as a button. Aww. Aww, isn't she sweet? This hasn't probably been open in 30 or 40 years. Ooh. Oh yeah, look, all buttons. Be careful if there's any needles. You're clumsy. I'm not clumsy. So what are we going to do with buttons? This is an interesting one. We'll probably just list these on lots on eBay eventually. And let's see what happens. Look at this. The little people, aren't they cute? It's probably like from a foreign trip or something. Yeah. Plates. Hmm. Ooh. Jewelry, you want to spread that out over Ooh. there? Ooh. Here, look oh, here. at this name. What does this name mean? Oh, this is Czechoslovakia hand painted. That's kind of cool. Old hand painted Czechoslovakian, and it has a number. I did a bunch of drawings. Sorry. Wow, this is interesting. Royal Hansley. It doesn't look like silver, though, does it? No. The pearls okay. are nice. Commentary Fine China Chantilly. And the rest is just glasses. But there's a box that says the silver flatware in it. Now that I see this, who knows? It's so pretty. Ooh, pretty. It's not real, though, right? Because no, I know. 
Right, exactly. Ah, oh, my little grasshopper's been learning. Pearls dissolve in vinegar. Isn't that crazy? Real yeah. pearls or fake pearls? Real pearls. Real pearls. What is this, sticky? this is really pretty. Look at the class. The oh, look, this is a really pearls. early in and out class. That's in and out Yeah, it says in and out Burger on the Oh, back. that's got to be highly collectible. I don't know. Editor, check it out. Is in and out worth something? Pop up the eBay. Pop up the eBay. By the way, guys, we have a new editor. Um, we'll probably do an introduction video eventually. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. It says Willow Boy, I think. Willow Boy. I can't read the rest. But it's definitely factory made. It's pretty cool, right? Are you, are you watching with the camera, not with your eyes? Mm -hmm. I saw what you do. I do no, the same I do thing. Both. Huh? I do both. I do the same thing. I get all excited with my eyes and I forget about the... So we know Tupperware is highly collectible. Is Rubbermaid collectible? Because this is oh. like vintage. Oh my gosh, this, I like that one. You like it? You want it? Yeah. It has beautiful clasing. I don't see a name on it. But you can tell old, that old cracked clasing. It's nice. Pretty piece. Have to research do, it. Do you know if Rubbermaid's collectible? Also, Some or? of it is. Uh, there's some big pieces in here. Man, you know what? Decanters, like one of these in our store, but I was bringing 15 bucks, no problem. The little bit nicer ones. This is a little bit cheaper the so way it feels. I think now that we don't have our store, the best advice I can give you is keep the top. The stopper. If you guys ever think about opening up a thrift store yourselves or having a yard sale or uh, the swap meet, put a little sign saying this is up front and that you're holding on to it because people will go around stealing it, which would take away the value. Make sure to follow with the camera. Oh, Pyrex and then an old little okay. silver. That's oh, not silver. All right, the rest in here just looks like it's glasses. I don't see nothing else big. So it's probably going to be a whole set of these vintage classes. These are cool. I mean, these are definitely 70s, 60s, 70s. Like European, like yeah. No, this is this was really big yeah, in the 70s. Super Brady bench yeah, there. but actually people like them. So let's put this box aside. You want to start cutting one over there? Now I'm dying to see what's with the one that said silverware on it. A lot of the there's different names on these boxes. But I'm happy it's not junk. It's like older stuff. I mean, it, it wasn't nothing super expensive back in the day. But it's stuff that's now becoming popular. This is just glasses. Glasses, glasses. Oh, these are fun. Oh, those are pretty. Those are 60s. Yeah, it looks like the whole box is full of it. Yeah, that's 60s. Yeah. Mid-century. It's kind of faded, unfortunately. Let's see if there's some better ones. Porcelain China, Diane, Japan. Yeah, just classes in here, nothing too exciting. So, and guys, we're not gonna, like, sometimes people get mad. We're not gonna go through every single item because then the videos will be four days long. So, and also, our editor will show highlights and, you know, kind of wait a, just a short time. So, there's all the uh, flat. That has interesting glazing yeah, on it. What's look, the name on the back? Do you guys see that? It has like an opalescent sheen to it. And then, uh, made in Japan. What does that say? T-A. Or P-A? No. T-A. T-A. So let's look up on eBay. Let's see if we can see T-A. Yeah. Can you guys see that, like, rainbow in it? I'll grab, like, kind of glowing. Thanks. There's a whole bunch of them in here. 15 Hot Drink Cups, Continental Can Company. Wow, this is totally 60s. Yeah, so the plates, it's a set of eight. Oh, check this out. So like a lot of people say, you know, you can sell this stuff on eBay to movie studios and they're right. This probably will be 15, 20 bucks to a movie studio because now you have time period cups. These are brand new packed. It's kind of cool piece. We'll take it. Let's see what else we got in here. Some kind of bowl. Oh, this looks interesting. That's a nice piece. As you finding champagne glasses this yeah. is vintage just because of the way the flute is but yeah it's clear glass not that big of a deal yeah clear glass just be better i mean you'd be lucky you got like two three bucks this is interesting though that's a good 20 bucks okay. german beer stein hmm. uh, it's not very farm and ghost town i've never heard it called that before not very farm and ghost town so this must be early 
I Ooh. was just watching one of our videos and I did not know about don't don't tell them because those videos are not out yet okay I guess you can give me a teaser there might be a good educational video coming yeah there's an excellent educational video and it's super interesting but I just discovered this brand Bauer so it looks like fiesta wear with the colors but actually, Renee said this is worth more, Bauer. It depends on what it is, but Bauer is really good, yes. See, are there several pieces or are we only looking at one piece? I don't know how much do you want me to open the box. I mean, just look, see if there's more power pieces in there. Bauer is, uh, no, Bauer is like a builder. Builder, that's what it was. Oh yeah, and this matches the um, plate set. The TA. Eight. So pretty. Yeah. Crystal. Man, this would have been a great lot for when we still had to store. I know, right? That's also cool. That's 60, 70. To put the sets together. All right, let's see. There's big blankets on there. Let's see. Let's, I want to find some home run pieces. I mean, all these pieces are cool, but we need to find home run pieces. I don't think you're going to find comic books with glassware. You never know. Oh yeah, so it looks like maybe this is again another piece. The, the TA. Saucer. If we find this TA stuff on eBay, we'll put some comp pictures up. So there's bigger pieces down here. Treasure hunting. Material, material, material. Hey, you want a nice old toilet seat coming on from the 70s? Oh, look at this old Kleenex box. Cocktail nappings, Kleenex, antique gold. That gotta be 70s or 60s, right? premium seal eventually guys so we are working on the warehouse this is going to be all empty and we'll have like 20 tables lined up and we'll actually be unboxing more oh uh, yeah, these are just old towels okay so it looked like maybe those were dinner roll plates and then i found deep in there the um cup and saucers oh was it that gala dinner napkins again an old box american can company this is dated 1972 they were made before I was born, five years before I was born. Wow. We Ten years after Casey company was born. still exist because maybe they'll buy that product. I don't know. Like, you know, a lot of people were saying film studios and they're right. So when they make movies and they want to do time period pieces. Oh, yeah, they're okay. I mean, back in the day in the store, five bucks a piece. Actually, no, we have to look these up because these, um, these are older. These say made in England. Maybe you can get 10, but I'm thinking five bucks a piece. I don't think they're a big deal. Let's put that in a box there. Uh, Tupperware. You yeah, always want to look out for old baking stuff. This is junk. Um, this looks good. Hopefully it's like Wilton or Viking, something vintage. Bunt pen trademark, North Aluminum Product Incorporated, made in Minneapolis. So that's vintage. That's probably what, at least 20 bucks on eBay. Yeah. Maybe 30. Oh, and it's heavy too. I was going to say, people who bake probably like the older, but they just stuff better. These are just regular white plates. You probably just trash those. You know, let's start making a box that we just get rid of because we just have too much stuff right now. So let's take out the good stuff here. This copper thing, five bucks. Did you there you go. Yeah. Vintage. And I know some people get crazy. They say, hey, you don't sell this. Remember, we have so much to do. And we only have so much time. And right now we have so many side projects that we try to spend our time wisely. So we're looking for the high dollar items and some of the regular stuff we just tossed. These are uh, Heath made in the USA. Heath? That probably is good. Let's put that aside. Let's see which pieces like, we want to keep. Watch, you got the bun? So we're a little bit more picky of what we can keep right now because we're trying to get the warehouse caught up. That's a cool piece. Put that aside. That's just for Dave. Here for Dave. Let's make a Dave pile. Mm -hmm. Romex made in the USA. Little cake, cake platters. But just because they're made in the USA, I mean, nothing is really made in the USA anymore. And if it is, it's super expensive. So those will check up online. Hey, editor, why don't you check this one out? Chromex with a K. K-R-O-M-E-X. I don't know, maybe they're worth something. Yeah. Constantly be surprised.
Uh oh, these are nice. And these have a name on them. These are made in the USA. They're K Y S dash I T E. And they have a number on them, 232. I bet you this set is good on eBay. Pop up the price. And we have three, six, eight bowls. So the cool thing, everything is old. There you go, old paper plates down there. People like collecting this kind of stuff, vintage kitchenware, just so you guys know. So a lot of the stuff we put in our store for like five to 10 bucks and people just buy it fully. What is that? Oh no, maybe it's a made for kitchen. See what's in here. This looks like silver. Okay, so this stuff right here is the stuff we don't care about. I guess let's double check here real quick. Kind of afraid. This is signed Puebla, Cal Mexico. It probably is good. People will go crazy. That's worth 20 bucks. Is it just paper? Oh. Uh, I don't know what it is. Regular class. It's clay. Oh, okay. We don't need it. Well, this is nice. Made in Italy for Christ. This is pretty. This looks all hand painted. What do you think, Nana? Nice. Pretty, huh? What is that? What does that say? Easterling made for exclusive in Bavaria, Germany. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty, and it looks like it's a setting of probably doo -doo -doo, eight. So, did that? Oh, yes. Yeah, so now we need to find the saucer. This whole box is all glassware and then pewter cups like this. Oh, this is good. This is Wedgwood. Oh, wow. That one's pretty. Made in England, Wedgwood. So, guys, Wedgwood pieces are really good. I bet you this plate is at least 20 bucks. That would be nice if we find a bunch of Wedgwood. Check out this time capsule. That's oh, here you go, Casey. Cool. Oh, yeah, exactly. There you go. Dinner or cake and lemonade or coffee. Oh. All right, so it's funny how that they have these packed. It's all class right here. Hey, you want to put these together? Maybe put them on the table because these are totally 70s. These will bring like 15 to 20 bucks per set of plate in class. And you know, guys, they sell slow at that. That's kind of cool pink. They sell slow at that, but they will sell. 70s. I like that one. Yeah, Stardust, Starburst. Save that one for me. Okay. I'm sure we'll find sets of these. So it looks like they put like a top layer of just glass. I know people are dying right now. Oh my God, Renee throwing it away. But like I said, we look for better stuff. This is Ooh. like a... Oh, I was like, I liked it. Help me get rid of the clear class. That's all trash. Yeah, because this is fun. Oh, oh there's another layer of class. Is anybody else enjoying that? Oh. Ugh. Sorry. I'm digging the sound. This is something made in France and it's signed by somebody. Oh, wow. Put your soap. Dad, Put you have. Yeah. You want to look some stuff here? I'll look at the next one. Okay, guys, while well, Casey looks there. Which one was That's silver? Cute. Little sherry. Oh, hey, you guys never finished these. Did Renee <laughs> showcase this pattern? I, I wasn't sure. This one's Royal M, and it's Italy, and it says what? A certain carrot. This right here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's way better than what I found. Box 386. It's a chandelier, doesn't it hang on the seat? No, it's or not. no, it's a lamp. It's a lamp. Wow, look at you that. You want to put those in front of the door? Yeah, and then I found two Pyrex. These are totally mid-century. Yeah, my bowls are dumb compared to yours. Oh, we got another one. I just want nothing to happen to this. Well, if one wasn't good enough, now we have two. They are so unique. If somebody likes these, they'll pay easily 200 bucks for these. And then you have to look, um, then you actually have to do the research and see if this is a famous brand or something. Casey okay, so will move these. 
is an interesting box. Oh my goodness. Sorry, kill a baby. Yeah. Little doll. Look at this. Made in England. It has a date. But it doesn't say sterling or silver, but still it's super cool. I've never seen it with like a top like this. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Wonder if that's religious or something. Maybe some sort of like an early incense thing could be. Hey, check this. I'm okay right now. These are all old bad. Oh, super dirty though. Ugh, stinky. We'll just get rid of this. Let's see more classes. A lot of classes in these boxes. More classes in here. Clear Pyrex. Like oh. um, pie pans. Here, check this out. Northington. North. I N G T O N. So we got a video about old planters and stuff coming out. I don't know how old this is, but let's check it up on eBay. Northington. Is it I mean, ceramic? It's uh yeah. Oh wow. And this is just plastic down here. I'm not gonna unwrap all these. Later on, if something really cool pops out when we do the cleanup on this, this is just regular cheap cut glass. We'll we'll come back. This Northington. Can you put this one on the table over there? Because that we want to research. So there's a box here that says silverware. Now we have to find out, is it just regular silverware? Okay, I guess I'll see this one next. Is it regular silverware or is it like silver silverware? So you can see it's like sometimes hard to do these videos because we wouldn't do it like this. So, but you guys get to dig with us. But these boxes, you know, I'm happy. They're not junk. They're not leftover stuff. This is probably something somebody maybe didn't want. It's not silver, right? No, it's just like silver edging, but it's, they're not really, nobody really cares about these anymore. Is, this is milk glass. It's a quarter cup. That's cute for coffee. Mm. No? You know, yeah, separate. Separate the trash so we have a second trash box. Yeah. But the cool thing, everything is old. Frankberry Judas, my brother. Printed in the USA. Dell Books. Let's see what time frame we got here. 1970. Hmm. This all is right. interesting. They keep on having all these different patterns of dishes. I don't think you guys showcased this one. Madero. And then there's the brand. That one's really pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of different. Um, you know, back then people really loved China. This is interesting. Philcraft teak wood made in Thailand. Philcraft. Teak wood? Oh, yeah, that's, that's expensive. Worth money. <laughs> but here's your matching salad, salad bowls. So look it up. Yeah, I'm going to have to edit it and pop it in piece. right now. Here's carnival glass, guys. That's cool. Yeah, what is it? It's it milk glass. Anchor, um, anchor hooking, probably. Yeah, anchor hooking. That's a cool piece. That's like 10 bucks. I'm more excited about this because you don't see that very often. That that was really popular in mid-century also. Yeah, the teak wood. It's Phil, like the name P-H-I-L, and then Graft, G-R-A-F-T. I think it's one word. And it, this one says right here, monkey pot wood. The other one said teak wood. So we got a bowl and four bowls. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power.